All right, so first off, uh, talk about the GC battle. Obviously, when Paco went up the road, you guys saw the break, full chase mode, huh? Yeah, yeah, I mean, Paco was aggressive all day, attacking, attacking, and finally we were just like, hey, just let him go. We'll uh, control it, and we weren't expecting him to then attack the breakaway, <laughs> so that was very, very impressive and extremely hard and typical Paco. So, I mean, that's awesome that you know, he was putting up a fight for it and made us really work for it and makes it even more special. And that's honestly how it was all day. Like, we didn't get any leeway from any team at all. It was literally every team, attack, attack, attack. You know, even like, if they had teammates up there, they would still attack. So it was just like, that even, like I said, it just makes it more special when you really, really deserved it and the team really worked for it. And so, uh, yeah, I'm extremely, <laughs> It's extremely stoked, man, with this. I know it's your first Redlands, but this seemed like an incredibly tough five days stage race with the hot yeah. weather early and the rain on the last day. I mean, it was brutal. Yeah, man, I mean, this, is, this was nuts. It was, I mean, I would honestly prefer the warm weather. Uh, so that was like, I love that. But all even the stages, everything. It was super aggressive racing all week, very hard. Uh, good competition, good riders here and like, you know, with today even, I mean, I've never raced in a full-on rain jacket before, uh, and it was, like, I needed that. I grabbed it from the car, from uh, the feed zone and, like, raced with the rain jacket most of the race until the final lap, and it was just like, wow. That's, that's how cold it was and miserable it was, so uh, extremely hard conditions, that's for sure. Talk about the sacrifice of your team. I mean, you, you leaned on those guys a lot in the last couple days here. <sighs> yeah, I mean, definitely... Uh, you know, uh, that's that's what makes uh, a GC guy is having an incredible team, and uh, yeah, I'm just beyond beyond grateful for everything they did for me. I mean, those guys just laid it all out there, and uh, you know, just told me, hey, calm, calm, stay back, let us do our job, and uh, yeah, that's that's why I won today. That's honestly the only reason I won today because you know all those guys are attacking, attacking, and it's like you can't do that by yourself, and. The guys just did what they needed to do, and man, amazing, amazing. So, truly blessed. Last question. Uh, yeah. Tell us the story behind your necklace. <laughs> uh, what's it mean? Where'd you get it? Uh, just kind of like a family thing. I mean, it's just kind of my dad picked it up. I think uh, like a yeah, like a Navajo, it's a Navajo turquoise uh, necklace, and uh, yeah, it just kind of got passed down. And so, yeah, I just I like the way. Looks, I think it's super beautiful and cool, and so yeah, uh, just kind of fits my vibe. So, yeah, perfect, perfect. Awesome. Answer. Thanks, we love you, TJ. <laughs> One more question because I know you guys have to get to the podium. Um, this is the second big win for the team after Joe Martin with Robin. Yeah, um, what's next? So, you guys didn't make it into California, but yeah, um, what does this show you know as the team winning a uh, second big stage race? Uh, just shows uh, we're a strong team, and uh, you know that any stage race or any race, honestly, a crit, a crit or a uh, one-day race or yeah, a stage race that we're here to race and we're here to win, and we have a team. We have a team literally for every event, and so yeah, we didn't get into California, but it's not a big deal. I mean, yeah, you'd like to race it, but the world doesn't stop, and racing doesn't stop, and you just move on to the next event. And for me, that's uh, we'll be up in Canada and Bose, and so go home and you know rest relax and build up for that and then you know there's other races like utah and everything like that and uh yeah just because one race gets taken off the calendar doesn't mean the world is over and uh that the team all of a sudden just doesn't know what to do so we're going to just continue racing i know the guys are going to be going to winston uh sam classic here soon and so wouldn't be surprised if they won that as well <laughs> All right, here's the 2017 Redlands Classic <laughs> Champion. How does yeah. that feel? Uh, yeah, it feels super, super amazing. I mean, yeah, I was just like racing, honestly, there at the end, just to like, I wanted to also get a good result there on the stage, but also just like as quickly, and it's to end the race as quickly as possible, just because I was wanted to get it over with, but uh, yeah, just stoked. All <laughs> Excited right. to celebrate with the team, that's for sure. All right, we'll let you get yeah. to the podium, congratulations. <laughs> awesome, thanks. Thank you very much.